So I hear Grandma tell Mum that Jonah is calling for her. Hey, are you done? Do you need me to wipe you? Jonah, do you need me to wipe you? I can't do it. Right. And then I realise that Jonah is calling for Mum because he wants her to wipe his bottom. This boy is six years old. Wash your hands, okay? I mean, what's going on in this house? Eden, go brush your teeth. Go brush your teeth. Mm. The children were asked to brush their teeth and Eden made a really big fuss about it. Go brush your teeth. And she didn't want to go into the bathroom at all. She just absolutely refused. I have a tendency to try to reason with them, and that is not always the best uh, solution. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Right here, eyes. Eyes even. What color are my eyes? What color are my eyes? Look at me. Green, blue, okay. Tony continuously asked them to look into his eyes all the time. I'm up here. Look at me. My eyes are right up here. Hold those up here by my eyes if you have to. Look at my eyes. It just doesn't work. Are you seeing me? So Tony finally gets Eden to the sink and it's a standoff. You ready to brush your teeth? She crossed her hands. She certainly didn't want to brush her teeth and she made a big riot about it. <laughs> when Eden gets to that point, I feel just completely out of control. I just know it's going to not end well. I want mommy to do it. You want mommy to do what? And then I got a very clear opportunity to see exactly how the three, meaning Tony, Leslie and Charity, discipline Eden when she's disrespectful and doesn't want to do as she's been told. They do nothing. Oh, you pressed it! Sorry. <sighs> oh. I don't, I, you don't do it like that! Well, it started out that we had disciplined children. It's just, it's just unraveled over time. So from the time they asked Eden to go upstairs and brush her teeth to the time she actually did brush her teeth, it was way over an hour and I realised that Eden may possibly be stubborn whilst I was there. So I hear Grandma tell Mum that Jonah is calling for her. Hey, are you done? Do you need me to wipe you? Jonah, do you need me to wipe you? I can't do it. Okay. Right. And then I realise that Jonah is calling for Mum because he wants her to wipe his bottom. This boy is six years old. Wash your hands, okay? I mean, what's going on in this house? Later on in the afternoon, Mum and the kids spent some time doing crafts. Here you go. Mum gave Eden a sticker that was on Jonathan's monkey to her by accident. And he wasn't happy with that. Oh, you know what? I didn't know it was your heart ear and I gave it to Eden to put on her monkey. I didn't know it was yours. I accidentally gave Eden Jonathan's sticker because it had fallen off of the monkey. I'm sorry. Honey, I didn't mean to do that. Jonathan. I'm sorry. Mommy, Aiden. Mommy, we mommy. accidentally put Jonathan's heart sticker on your monkey. Can I take it off and put something else on your no. monkey's belly? Oh, it's ruined. I kind of was hoping that she would just say, okay, but she did not want any part of that. No. Can we do that for Jonathan, please? <laughs> So I just felt kind of trapped, like no matter what I did, whether I corrected my mistake or whether I didn't, somebody was going to be very unhappy. So now what? Fell off. What to do? You don't know what to do. Yeah. With the stars and the monkey yeah. noses. Because either way, I feel like I lose. Yeah. She tells me that she feels guilty because one of the kids are going to be upset over the decision that she's made. That's life. Eden, can we please give him the heart nose and I'll put this heart that mommy drew on your nose. 
that I find myself sometimes trying to please all of the kids. What if we found a phone sticker? No. Ah, phone. No, I'm phone. You're not going to keep all your kids happy 24-7. No. But you get on it and you deal with it. On my first day, I wanted to focus on parental skills because the children's behaviour is getting confused with the family's grieving process. The first step was to ask Grandma to leave so that Leslie wouldn't be dependent on her help so that she could just stand up on her own. I am going to run out and get a pedicure. Okay. okay. You have to do. Right. Leslie definitely needs to feel the sense of responsibility and independence, but she has that crutch and that's her mother and to a degree it's been a godsend and and a knot because it's made her slightly lazy and dependent on her mother. Amanda, bye. I'll be back in a little bit, OK? Bye. I love you. With Grandma gone, it was time to get these kids to act their age and wipe their own bottoms. <laughs> and right away, Eden gave me the chance to show Mum exactly how. Oh, this is great. Yes, Eden. Oh, this is, is good. Is, is she old enough to wipe herself after it, she poops? Oh, yeah. We've got a five-year-old who's struggling to wipe her own bottom. I just thought that was crazy. OK, this is what you want to do. Don't wipe her bottom. She's got to learn to do it herself, OK? okay. Go in there, uh -huh. OK? And then tell her what to do, okay. all, right? all right? What I would do as well is that I would keep some, like, wet wipes as well. There are some in, in there. there. Great. All yeah. right, let's go okay. and do it. Right. Come out and tell me that you haven't done it, OK? <laughs> she needs to learn to do it herself. OK. Yes, Eden. I was taking you so long. Had Mum in the bathroom teaching Eden how to okay. take care of herself on her own accord. Which was quite funny, actually, listening to her through that door. Hey, don't come out of the way. I'm going to teach you how to wipe. Now pull out one wipe. Remember front to back. OK. <laughs> I'm often asked, when should a child wipe their own bottom? Typically between three and four years old. And Eden's almost five years old, so she's way overdue. Do you know how many American houses I've been into where the kids don't wipe their own butt? It's quite interesting. You know, you want to make sure they're clean and you want to make sure, that, you know, they've got good hygiene and they're taking care of themselves, but sometimes you don't think they're ready to do that, so you're just doing it for them. Good job. Good job, Eden. Good job. She said, I can't believe I wiped myself. 